All right, we're back with Mobile Art Room. So two things. One, I did notice that we unlocked the deck. It actually said at the end of my last run that I unlocked the new deck. So I think we'll play with that, see what that's like. The other thing is that, you know, it's a roguelike. It has seeds. The seed listed for that run was tutorials. So I have a feeling that the game's going to get a little bit harder. Seeded run, no. I don't have any seeds. Okay, so there is the difficulty. There are different decks, and I do have... Okay, that's too many. Looks like there's three in the demo. But there's like a ton more. What is that, 15? Yeah, I think it is actually 15. Uh, so I think we'll play with this. It seems fun. There's challenges too. Interesting. Um, I don't know how the difficulty goes up. But uh, we'll, we'll start here because we can't select any other difficulty. So this is Crystal Ball Voucher, which is plus one consumable slot. Okay, so I have three tarot slash planet slots instead of two. That's pretty cool. And then two copies of the Fool. Creates the last tarot or planet card used during this run, excluding itself. All right, so it copies stuff I've played. Anyway, I'm curious if this is going to be different because it's not the tutorial seed. <laughs> But that did feel like a relatively normal run, so I guess we'll find out. Chop has a holographic doker. Doker? Joker. All right, I'm down to skip that for sure. Although it did need money, I will note. But I'm pretty sure you get to see the shop after this. So I think playing this for money and then playing this for money should give me enough money to buy whatever sweet joker is going to pop up. I don't care about the free mega arcana pack, so... We'll just hit select. No. Oh, thought I had a straight. We're gonna fish for the flush, I guess. Well, wow, kinda almost missed, but it's like pretty normal odds right now. Don't have any multipliers, so just kind of have to play honest poker for a minute. Uh, I don't know how good this is. I guess it's exactly this good. It's just 20. Plus the value of the cards. So really not a lot. Oh, we should have my jack back. And 10. Jack, queen. I gotta take the seven, this other side of the straight. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That'll do. So the better hands have not only better starting values, but I think more critically extra multiplier. Like the last one I had the like the two hundred extra chips almost, the bull joker. But it feel definitely feels like is this going to be plus one discard? It's not even that good. I'm going to save my money though, because I can't afford that joker, which is kind of what I thought was going to happen. But I should be able to afford it here. No chips and all abilities are disabled, but they still count for the hand, right? So this full house is still the full house. Scores no chips. I mean, that's big debuff, but... We have to score this. Seems to be good enough. Five, six, seven, eight. Discard these. Oh, I almost had a flush. I might have made a mistake, but whatever. One more hand. Definitely not the cleanest way I could have done this, I don't think, but good enough. Uh, we'll just play this. This actually might be enough. Wow, seven shot. Uh, literally anything. I think it's funny just to play one card to win, so we'll play one card. All right, didn't make that much extra money. You make money from having hands left over. I had zero hands left over, but should be enough to buy this sweet Joker. Oh, that's annoying. I mean, I guess I kind of thought that, but. But lost, lost my holographic joker I, skipped, joker I skipped for. So given that I can expect them to probably cost more than what I would have had, 
Maybe not a good skip there. Jimbo, that's the name of the Joker. Good name for a Joker. Old mate Jimmy. Copies the ability of the leftmost Joker. That seems really powerful. I guess I'll buy both of these. Spade suit, give plus four malt when scored. Okay, so I want to play spades. And this is going to copy whatever good stuff I have. Don't think I care about spectral stuff. Music is so good. I guess we're straight fishing. I want to play spades if I can. Wow, these are not good. <laughs> Everything's really bad. Uh, let's play this, I guess. Is it worth anything? 60? Not really that much. Also, all my spades are not here. Let's play this. I hope I don't die. That'd be a pretty embarrassing death. I feel like I'm gonna die. <laughs> Should discard one, I guess. Am I not discarding enough? Why not be discarding enough? It's not good either. I lost this guy. I have to play the rest of my hands now. Hit my straight. Hopefully that's enough. I have one hand left. This is looking kind of ugly. Oh, I had some spades. Plus up. Okay, phew. Definitely got bailed out there. That was... That was some not good play. <laughs> I want a better joker to copy. Copy's the leftmost joker. Her playing card added to your deck. That's pretty cool. And this is plus 50 chips if you contain a pair. Again, the chip counts don't seem as good to me. They obviously do matter because you're trying to multiply a number. And if you multiply a bigger number, it's better. Can I sell these worth a dollar? It's not enough. I was hoping I could sell these to buy this, but looks like I can't do that. Only 0.25 molt as well. I'll put total card added. If you add like, this had one's card, this adds one, but if you add two cards, half a molt, maybe that's actually just not good. I don't know what card I last played. I don't think I've played one yet, actually. All right, we go again. We're fishing for the Broadway. Oh, one king off. Agreed. Yeah, let's go. Nah. Don't have any spades to play. But that's okay. That was not worth very much. Somewhat concerning. Yeah, so we should try and play the spade flush because it's like the only big multiplier we have. Nailed it. Oh my goodness. It should be worth a ton. It's like eight molt per card. Yeah. I don't know what it means when the numbers get fiery, but I assume it's good. Okay, so maybe it's a find a bunch of spades and try and flush out angle. I'm kind of here for it. I kind of want planets if I want to do that. Full house. Oh, wait, no, I need tarot cards. Right? Because I need to make spades. Don't want planets. I mean, I could hit flushes, but I don't think I'm going to need them. I just need to play a specific type of card for the malt, so. Do any of these make... Doubles money. I have to use it now. But then I have these. Wait a minute. Okay, well, none of these make... Wow, I could have made so many spades too with these. If I'd hit the spade card, but... I'll take the money. Max of 20. So 8 doubled 
is 16, and then I'm going to make 16. I can just use them now. Oh, I was like, where'd it go? And then this makes 16. You can make a max of 20, so... This is about as much money as I can hope to make. I could have maybe waited one more round, but whatever. And we're fishing for spade flushes. We're very single-minded. Speaking of that, I think I'm actually going to try and put a club flush here because it's so close. Nice. There should be like a decent amount of points. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, back to digging for the clubs. Oh, the spades. And, oh, that's bad. Uh, I'm going to have to play these just to get them out of my hand because I'm out of discards. This might be a tragedy. Kind of one punch manning right now. Like if these hands don't hit, I'm not gonna win. So I'm gonna need more juice than this. I'm gonna definitely need a way to make more spades, but that did win. I don't even know what the, what was the debuff of that boss? I, whatever. Literally didn't read it. <laughs> okay, I have a ton of money too. Straight. Alt per card discarded. And only times two, but only this is point zero one, which isn't very many. And then these, I could maybe try to make my flushes better. I really need tarot cards, but I don't have them right now. Oh, I guess I can move these around. Okay, I'm gonna, well, I'm discarding cards a lot. I'm gonna buy this as like a bridge. Do I care about these? I don't think I care about the planets. Well, whatever. I, I remembered that I can only make $5 worth of interest on 25, so probably wanted to spend more money there. Rerolls at zero. I don't think I care about that. I'm just going to have to try and hit. So this means I don't want to discard. Um, pretty sure I can do this to get this, though. Because if there's no spades, this doesn't do anything. So this is always going to be two extra malt. And I don't want to discard my cards because um, I want to not lose malt on this if I can help it. That seems fine. So we'll just kind of play through cards until I hit my spades, basically. <laughs> uh, I can play a pair. Sure. I think this is worth it. And then when I hit spades, I can move them back around. Didn't hit spades. Two, three. This is fine. This is like, kind of like discarding, but weirder. Oh, these hands aren't very good. Okay, we hit. We just barely hit two. To move this joker back over, that would have been a bad way to lose. I feel like we only have one trick, and as soon as I get caught slipping, this is not going to go well, but when we hit, Usually hit big. Like a true gambler. Okay, I should spend some money. For each remaining discard, plus 40 chips. For each of them, so 120, just at its base value. First played face card gives times two multiplier when scored. That seems okay. Seems better than this, honestly. This is more cards available. Card slot available. Is that these? I'm gonna buy this. Looking for, I wanna find the towers to make spades preferably. Stone, diamonds, wild. Okay, this one make money. So that's good, this only makes 20. So I should buy this. And then buy Oh, that does make this. Okay, I'm trying to make flushes, so this seems pretty good. And I can buy... I think I want to buy this. And this is going to double my money. And kind of out of joker spots, but... Free buffoon pack. Well, I'm kind of maxed on jokers right now. Although, this one isn't that interesting to me. Plus 80 chips if we have a flush. First played face card. First played, like the only one you play? Is that what that says? 
going to do this. It's three of a kind. I care about this spade. I don't think so. I have enough. I have more spades. Uh, we'll just play some cards. Whatever. I don't think it matters really. It seemed like a lot of stuff. Wow, that was a lot of stuff. First played base card gives times two bolt when scored. I don't understand what that does, if I'm being honest with you. But it was good enough. Alright. Oh, not quite there. <gasps> so close to a straight flush. I like moving my... I like this card a lot. It's cool moving your Joker cards around as like an active part of the game. I think that's really cool. Alright. Well, that was good enough. I kind of want something that isn't this. Because this also isn't that good. This I don't really understand. But definitely feeling a little sussy. Create a tarot card if your hand is played with $4 or less. I don't think I'm going to have $4 or less very often. Random Joker? Seems good for 3 bucks. Spectral pack. Oh, I definitely want this, I think. Because I'm not trying to discard because of this. I need to sell something. Also, want to buy this. Is this not good anymore? If I find spades, it's good, but I haven't found spades yet. I think it's time to give up and just play for flushes. This is so good, though, if I find spades. Like, in an ideal world, I have this, and then I find this and the other three for the other suits, right? And then it's just flush city. But until then... Um... I'm going to sell this because I don't get it. <laughs> I do want this, but I'll buy this first. Then we'll use this now. Who's that? Okay, we'll sell you. Buy this. And I'll buy this, I guess. I don't know what a spectral card is, but I'm excited to find out. Converts all cards in hand to a single random suit. Well, I don't want random suit. Creates a planet card if this card is held in your hand. That seems really good. Add negative to a random joker. So it gives you space for one more. That's also pretty good. Random rare joker sets money to zero. Don't love that. If I took Vagabond, that would have been sweet. I think it's either this for lots of planets. I don't think this seems crazy. I'm not taking this. Or an extra joker slot. How good is an extra joker slot? I have a decent amount of money. Extra joker slot seems pretty good, but I kind of like this. I'm going to add it to the seven. Seems pretty innocuous. Like, it needs to be a card I'm not going to play, right? Uh, I guess I'll buy this too, because I'm also capping interest. Uh, I want to make... Blushes better? None of these make blushes better. Um, I think I'll take straight, better straights. A little more likely than the other hand type. I don't remember what hand type it was, but another one. Um, can you like see? I don't know if you can see. I'm just gonna play these. Oh, man. Yeah. Do I have to play these to see what they are? Uh, I think I need this here. Plus one malt. This is going to be better soon. So this is plus two right now. This is two, so they're the same. If I don't hit my spades, I think I'm done, so how many spades do I have left? Eight? That's not very many.
really don't want to make this worse, though. I think I have to discard some stuff. Like, this, this is so... Like, this hand is so bad. Oh, yeah, this makes this worse, too. This... Yeah, this should be pretty good. I actually kind of like suit sorting, honestly. <laughs> I feel like it makes me lazy, but whatever. <laughs> this is going to go to two malt. I want to sell this ramen. This ramen is... It's already not that much malt, but like... I made it slightly worse by having to discard, and now it's obviously much worse. Okay, so again, the good news is when we hit our spade flushes, we seem to win easily. But when we don't, it seems to be an absolute struggle. What is this? Plus one discard. I don't, wasn't synergized with this, but it seems okay. Oh, <gasps> that is insane. What the hell? Four cards, flushes and straights. That is nuts. Oh, I definitely want this, right? I want to see the good stuff more often. And then I'm selling this. This is already getting sold. I was already mad at it. Buying this, Insta. I don't want to buy a pack. Buy a pack. Let's buy a pack. And then I can stay. Any flushes? Well, this makes making straight flushes easier too. But this seems ridiculously good. Do I want to make clubs? Maybe. Loses one interest to make clubs. I think that's actually okay. Because I do want to make flushes, even if they're not spade flushes. Mega standard pack. Yeah, I don't think so. I want to keep this for planet cards. Oh, two pair? That seems fine. Uh, guess I want this there now. So I'll just take the mold. Oh, that's cool. I actually didn't think about that, but it makes sense. Um, this increments first. Uh, if when you play a hand, and then this will get one extra as a result. That's really cool. Uh, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is so insane. Keeping this to get a planet. I could convert these to clubs too. I think actually I do want to convert. Oh, if I convert these to clubs, I get a straight flush, actually. Oh, baby. This might be good enough to win. Which I don't really want because I kind of wanted this, but whatever. Okay, it wasn't good enough to win. Nice. Held in hand at the end of a round. I did have it. Why didn't I make... Why didn't I make the planet? Alright, whatever. This card is so ridiculous, actually. Because, like... Not only does it make... I feel like I'm not making that much money. Okay, I made one. It's a good planet, too. Um, Because, like, you also hold extra suited cards in your hand to make more flushes. I don't know. This seems really good. Double money again. Hand contains three of a kind. Eh. Kind of planet pilled. Honestly. Oh baby. There it is. Level up flush. Yeah. Buy this, because it's basically free money. And then, I guess I'll use this now. So now my straight flushes are better. And then we'll go. I kind of feel in like the planet angle on this one. I don't think I care about the Arcana pack. Oh, wow. Yeah, this is going to pop off. Unfortunately, this copying your leftmost tricker doesn't mean this gets one more multiplier. It just... This becomes this, basically. So, this is still what I want here if I'm playing 
spades. Hmm. I feel like we could be doing slightly better, but don't complain too much. Still, I think two-shotting this blind pretty comfortably. We do... Oh. Oh, I forgot to move. Okay, that was actually a pretty big mistake. I forgot to move my joker. Two, three, four, five. Guess the six ended straight is better. I do have a bunch of clubs on my deck also. Uh, can I play... guess the two doesn't matter here. I will play this two just to get it out of my hand. Oh, I should have moved again. That's actually a big, big mistake. Because this is blank. Which is not good. Okay, we'll do this. <laughs> I have one hand left? Oh no. Did I run it down? I might have run it down. I might have to discard. Okay, that's fine. That makes it slightly worse, but whatever. I live. Play hand. Remember when I was talking about how it was really cool to like move your jokers around and have them be part of the game? Yeah, you have to actually move them for that to be a thing. And I didn't move them. <laughs> All right, we made it, we survived. Maybe we didn't deserve it, but we got there. I definitely feel like I'm not quite scaling hard enough right now. More clubs. I'm club pilled. I will be club pilled. Done. Bye. Insta. Diamond. Ooh! Do I have diamonds? I have a decent number of diamonds. Okay, yeah, this is out of here. We're buying this. We're flush pilled. This is what I was talking about. I mean, this, this, and like all this stuff. I kind of wish I had a negative joker now. Can't really fit all of the suits in, but I only really need three. I'm going to buy this planet pack. I'm going to double my money at some point. Probably now. Well, I guess it's always going to be 20. So it doesn't matter when I do it. Just use it when I need to kick cards out of my hand. I guess three of a kind is fun. Maybe we should have taken pair there instead. The pair upgrade. Oh, goodness. I might be in trouble. Four hands? Oh, This makes clubs. Okay, we are going to want to make some clubs. Let's make this. Wait, what do I have? I have diamonds. Oh, I need diamonds. Well, need is a strong word. I want to keep my diamonds. What about my spades? I kind of want to keep my spades, too. It seems like kind of a waste, but I think this is the only thing I want to convert. That's so weird. I don't know if that's right. I feel like maybe that can't be right. Okay, this is the correct, like, joker placement. That was not great, if I'm being honest. Okay, I need to discard these. Okay, I made a diamond flush. I guess I'll play this because I'm never using it. Hope this is enough malt. Hmm, I think I'm dead. I got way too greedy. Discard these. Go for the big flush. One hand left after this. Oh my god, I didn't move the right joker either. Okay, no, definitely can't win then. Damn. Man, I really punted. I feel like I had this run. Just didn't call it the wall for nothing. Damn, GG. I really like this run. I mean, it's nice to see what a losing one is like, I guess, but... 
Yeah, not even close. GG. Okay, buddy. Well, this was another run of Bellatro. Hope you're enjoying it. I'm certainly enjoying it, but definitely lots to learn about the game. Again, it's wild how deep this is just for a demo, but uh, excited to learn a bit more. Excited to keep playing, and uh, see you later.